Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we've jumped systems. I decided to move. Um, there wasn't really anything left for us to do there that was going to be challenging enough for what we have right now. Uh, I made a lot of changes to the mechs and stuff on the way over here. We got all our pilots back. They've healed up and we're ready to go. I decided to buy uh, engine repairs for the Argo, get them upgraded a little bit. Um, and we've got a lot of C-bills and there's a good reason for that and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but priority here, we're going to have a quick look here. I'll just show you why <clears throat> I think this is a good planet to be on. We've got lots of five and four and a half skull missions here that we can take. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. I think now with the Lance that we have, we're I think we're pretty set for some of the heavier missions. I think we're going to do okay now. Um, I'm not that worried about them. So let's have a look at the mech base now to see what I've done. So there's been a, a few big changes and a few not so big changes. Um, this dire wolf, the lone wolf, we're going to have a quick look at this because this is going to end up being, a, like I said, it's going to be a goss build. I haven't 100% decided on how we're going to lay this out. And I know I mentioned this before. We do have um, a heavy goss rifle, which I am going to drop in here with the turret mount that we have. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now like and get it going, but this is kind of how I want to kind of lay it out. So this is going to be our big gun, 150 damage. Uh, plus we'll get an extra 30 damage from the fire control system hag. So that'll give put this damage up to 180. Um, so this is going to be our heavy hitter. Going to max out the armor, get it in close. Um, it's got a Nova CW and our stealth already built in, which is awesome. Uh, so we're going to get this guy in close and fighting. I might change out the, the sniper sensors and the slick suite, but for now we're going to leave those. Um, and I might, I'm probably going to drop out one of the rotary AP large bores. So we'll most likely shift ammo into here and do this. And since this ammo here um, does not explode, we're still going to stick it in the like stick it in the torso. I don't have to worry about case if it's all goss. So we'll go this route, I think, um, eventually. And then we'll, we're going to round it out with some other closer range weapons. Um, Fist of Dorm was mentioning uh, using some of the X-Pulse uh, lasers and stuff. So we do have a couple of X-Pulses, like medium X pulses, which most likely will go in here in the arms and stuff. Gonna have to worry about heat sinking. That's really the only thing I'm 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 really afraid of right now. Clan heat sink kit is not gonna do it. We're gonna need to get a um, a radical prototype double heat sink kit. We don't have any heat sinks which is gonna be an issue. We've got a radical heat sink kit here. Uh, that's just a regular double uh, here's a prototype double double heat sink kit. Uh, so we need something like this with double heat sinks. So we're gonna be looking for those. Um, so yeah, that's this one. Uh, I'm not going to touch it, like I said, just yet. We have enough ammo for the heavy goss now. We've got, a, I think we've got a double, which is 10 rounds, and two singles, which is another like eight rounds. So I think we'll go with 14 rounds for that. We'll go with a single and a double uh, of goss. I might stick the extra heavy goss in there in case we take a hit and we lose some goss ammo for the heavy goss. I don't know. Uh, running with a double like double ammo is great because you get extra ammo but if you if it takes a crit and we lose the ammo you lost a whole crap ton of ammo right so that's the big thing i'm a, i'm afraid of so let's have a look at the layouts here so some things have majorly changed you notice this dire wolf is now uh outfitted this is the night gear prime that we got last episode where we brought it forward i brought it up and got it repaired uh, it doesn't have anything in it just yet i'm not sure what we're going to load it out with um but it is set up and ready to go. Now, the uh, Jade Hawk that we picked up last episode, the 75-ton Jade Hawk, that was not an Omni mech. So when I brought it forward, we lost, like it didn't have an XL engine, didn't even have a core in it. Um, it like, the whole CT was trashed. Uh, so rather than spending a ton of C-bills trying to get that thing up and running, well, it did have lots of hard points. I wasn't really interested in keeping it. So I ended up selling it, unfortunately. Um, while it was a kind of a cool mech, um, it would would have been greater in the next series that I'm planning on doing because it had J talons to start installed in the legs and stuff, uh, which is kind of cool. But um, yeah, for this series, it, it just wasn't going to work, so we got rid of that. Um, my Night Gear Prime that we had originally was a laser build, so what we did is I took everything off of that in order to outfit the Direwolf. So everything from there moved to the Direwolf. Then you'll notice that the Hades is gone. We dropped that out and we sold it and everything from the Hades moved into the Night Gear Prime. So let's, this is not the, is it this guy? Yeah, it is this guy, the AMS Night Gear. So let's have a look at this one. So this is a big upgrade from the um, from the Hades. It's a, it's, I, I find it's like a huge upgrade. 
So we put the regular stuff back in the uh, fire Artemis fire control system so we can use Artemis ammo with the with the LRMs, which have been upgraded to LRM 20s from 15s. The AMS situation is pretty much the same. We have an AMS Mark II and a regular AMS, or sorry, the advanced AMS on this side. I was able to stick another double ton of ammo in now, so we have 1,700 rounds of ammo. Uh, in this thing so we should not be running out in any battles even with both of these on overload they might jam but we're not going to run out of ammo um, we got three tons of Artemis ammo uh, so that should give us what where LRM 40 that should give us three six nine rounds of firing and then we have uh, LRM Hydra uh, I was someone said that the, the Hydra ammo is some of the best ammo in the game it is area effect and it is heat de uh, dealing ammo so I thought we'd throw it in give it a shot see how it works uh, we've only got three turns of it. This is only this is the only ton of ammo we have of this nature, and I haven't seen any in the store at all. So I thought we'd give it a shot, drop it in, and you know if we can get if we get some mechs overheating, we'll just uh, you know give them a nice little bit over overheat. Um, both side protected by regular case two because we decided to go or I decided to go with a chameleon system here in the center torso. Uh, it uses up a lot of space, but this thing is pretty damn cool. Minus 50% reduced visibility. Minus 50%. Reduce sen sensor signature, so this thing will be pretty much not necessarily invisible, but pretty invisible. I know it's plus 20% heat generator, plus 15 heat per turn when it's activated, uh, but it's definitely worth it if we're worried about that. Now, um, it's got naturally uh, ECM field, uh, 90 meter ECM field, um, reduces enemy sensor checks by five. It's got a jammer if we want to use it, so. Um, it's got increased sensor and sight range too on itself so we can see it farther and it, it makes this much harder to hit at long and extreme ranges so this mech is going to be uh, you know relatively um, hidden I guess if you want to call it and the heat sinking is actually pretty good as long as we're not activating the internal torso we're pretty darn good uh, it's 78 over 71 which is pretty good and then if it's activated it's another 15 so it'll be you know 78 heat sinking and 86 heat now, the ER medium lasers aren't going to be firing unless we need them because this guy is pretty much going to be staying in direct roll if we can. Um, and then we put a couple of heavy improved jump jets on this guy to round it out. Uh, it was tough because the chameleon uses up a certain amount of slots. Um, the endo steel uses up a certain amount of slots. So I had to kind of like balance it out. It took a little while to get completely balanced. But with these improved jump jets in here, uh, we should be able to jump and get some pretty good maneuvering. So if we need to be in closer, we can do that or jump down from hills whatever um, it's also got a plus two heat sink internal heat sinking kit to give us a bit of extra heat sinks so that was this guy um, maxed out armor too which is nice so this guy can withstand a lot uh, good pounding so that's the night gear AMS and then the dire wolf um, the dashy this thing is going to be a murderer I'm hoping at long range but we're gonna see how it works so we took the large improved heavy that we picked up plus the one that we already had put one on each arm pair of ER large aid lasers in each arm. ER medium laser in each arm is a backup. We've got a tag arrow which has been just sort of sitting around and then everything else that we had before has been put in plus I added a couple of uh, uh, things of case in here to help protect against the prototype double heat sinks because we have so many of them. I used up all of my prototype double heat sinks for this thing. We used up the uh, uh, the plus the uh, inner sphere plus like the th third level exchanger here uh, to minus 20% heat generated because um, we really needed it. I got one jump jet in here just in case we need to jump. But gunnery support A, fire control system predator, which is, gives us the extreme accuracy, extreme range accuracy, and then extreme range accuracy with the sensor trackers. The ER large lasers extreme range is 810 meters, which is great because we can open up with four of them at extreme range uh, before the enemy even gets close to us. Then the large improved heavy has got a range of 600, which is great. And these guys got a range of 510 or 540. Beautiful. So that's this guy and the heat sinking is pretty darn respectable if you look at it like that like it's I, I was shocked that we could actually get it down to this with the amount of heat that we're generating with this thing but it's pretty good uh, and then the Nova CEWS which should really protect this guy now this guy you know full armor except for the back which is reduced slightly um, so this guy is going to be the guy that we're hiding behind for a lot of the battles hopefully we don't lose an arm because I can't replace any of this stuff but uh, yeah, that's how this guy's going to go. And in the worst case scenario, we can turn this into a rack rack monster because I do have uh, a pair of rotary AC2 clans, a rotary AC2 risk, rotary AC5. I know we got the rack 10 and the rack 20, but we don't have enough ammo for either of these to make them viable. I don't even think we have any rack 20 ammo. Oh wait, I think we have two tons, I think. 
two tons of rack 20 which is 10 rounds so it's like five rounds of firing or something like that it's something so pitiful but um it would be basically you know fire six rounds hopefully you destroy a mech and then you know shoot one round off for four next four rounds and that would be it um anyway so yeah that's this guy now um everybody else pretty much stayed the same i don't think i changed anything uh these grand summoners i am seriously considering making these guys close range mechs um so because they're relatively quick i was thinking about making one an mrm build uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that yet. I also thought about using one of these as the arrow and thumper mech. It does have enough, uh, I was mistaken before, uh, it does have enough uh, weight and ability to do that. The only issue right now is we need thumper ammo. We don't have any thumper ammo at all. The arrow system has got plenty of ammo, but the thumper has nothing. So we're going to have to keep our eye open for that. Um, and then everything else is the same. We just Any repairs that we made, we made on all the guys. So the night gear too is another thing. Uh, we could turn this guy into the um, arrow thumper. Uh, we didn't get much back off this guy. I think we got the auto cannon and a PPC or something like that, but um, we got a little bit back off this guy. So this guy might actually end up being the um, the arrow thumper, but we'll have to figure that out as we go along here. Okay, so that's enough talking. Let's get into battle here. So I haven't really decided yet what we're going to take. I'm wondering if it should just be a four and a half first. This is local pirates, four and a half battle in the lowlands. Most likely we could route them. Breakthrough on the brink, defend base. That's a little too easy, I think. Unless, of course, it ends up like it did last time and they got the, uh, <laughs> it is the jungle. They got the uh, report me's in. Pride and vanity, what's this one? Get a local pirate battle. Um, Help and protection, willing to intervene. We need a deniable force to step in and destroy the pirate threat. Five Skull. Clandestine research is a capture base against Jade Falcon. Man, I don't want to wreck our, uh, our chance to get our rep up with the Falcon. I know we tanked it a little bit last episode. We're back down to nine, but I think we can bring it up. I was hoping to get a couple missions here, but we didn't, unfortunately. Um... It's the skull rating of the planet, unfortunately. We don't have enough for three and a half skulls. So let's go with Mech Factory is against two. Uh, Jade Falcon 2. Uh, let's take Pride and Vanity. A battle against the pirates in the open. Yeah, let's go with it. We're going to go full salvage. I think the best way to get sea bills now is to, uh, is to definitely um, um, assemble mechs and then sell them. The, uh, um, what's it called? Um, sorry, I'm doing two things I want here. The, the Jade Hawk was one and a half million. So that was kind of beautiful. Uh, and then we got a one and a half million for the Hades too, which was really nice. Um, uh, Mastodon, a workhorse. We're going to go with the, the uh, elite group of guys here. So we'll go with you. Now, uh, Night Gear Prime, we're going to give you to Workhorse. Do I want to go Archer? Yeah, I'm not really liking either of these two mechs, though. The ER Medium, the Heavy Laser, Large Improved Heavy, another ER Medium, AMS, Active Probe. Yeah, let's go with the, let's put you on Gundal. We're going to, we're going to go with the Active Probe, I think. And I don't know, this guy's got the MRM-20 and the tag barrage. Do we have a barrage? On, I don't think we have a barrage on the summoner. We do have a barrage on the summoner. And the spall liner, that's right. This is the guy that's got the uh, yeah upper hard. And this guy's got reduced 15% um, reduced uh, damage taken in total. So we're going to go with this grand summoner. And um, yeah, why can't we deploy? What the heck? Must be less than 600 tons. Well, that's not good. How are we going to make it less than 600? Oh, crap. The battery wolf's so heavy, right? Um, well, that's interesting. What are we at here? 100, 250, um, 500, no, 400, 300. So we're over by, if my math is correct, 15 tons. Oh, man. 
we got to start getting our tonnage uh, maximum ton drop weight up on up a little bit more um, tell you what let's do I got I have to run the direwolf I have to I can't not run the direwolf we leave the night gear out I don't think so this could be really nasty why do I feel like I'm hampering myself going this route tell you what let's try this now we can do it let's do this All right, guys. Darius told me on the way down that as soon as we engage, we can expect enemy, any, any enemies in the local region doing to uh, in, uh, close on our position. So, wow. There you go. Three support lances plus the enemy units, plus possibly reinforcements. We got three up there, and one here. And where are we? Well, that's not very nice. Uh, where do we want to get up to? Over here, probably? Oh, I remember this map now. Is it this one I'm thinking of? Uh, where these guys might have a difficulty getting over this hill. Uh, it's a different map. I don't think I've played on this one before, have I? Ah, uh, whatever. All right, guys, you know what to do. Uh, let's get the trees. On the move. Full speed. Gotta get up this hill. Running up this hill. Something, something. I'm are you? I know you're listening, but are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm it. Yes, I am. That's the question. Commander? Remember I was told by somebody I, I, you know, ADHD, you get excited, you sometimes talk before people are finished talking, and I, this one um, person was conveying an idea to me, and um, I just went off on this tangent all of a sudden, and they look right at me, and they went, hear me, and I'm like, whoa, fuck, okay, and I just listened up, right, but it was like, yeah, I totally get, I totally get why you would say that, hear me, I know you're listening, but are you hearing what I'm saying? All right. God, I had a lousy day at work today. I hate it when uh, people try and pass the buck. Oh, uh, deflecting and, oh, uh, it wasn't me. You know, you guys have heard me say, oh, God, this thing is so slow. You guys have heard me say this over and over again. Own up to your mistakes. If you make a mistake, you own up to it, right? Everybody makes mistakes. It's how you handle it that's the most important thing. Oh, shit. Of course there is. You might as well make a 20 to 8. Why not? Don't worry, that can hit you. Okay, we're going to wheel to the right and crush these guys. We're going to wheel right. What do we got here? Longbow. Oh, well, we might get some good salvage. Right here, right, here, right now. Dropping some lerms on this guy over here. 28% taking it, firing. Yeah, we gotta crush these guys on this side first. That way I can use, keep my back over here. Oh, fuck them. Screw, oh, I hear a vehicle. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. If they're middle, if they're like medium, medium weight vehicles, why am I missile mechs going first? If they're medium rate or medium uh, weighted vehicles, it's perfect. The heavy vehicles, not so much. What do we got here? Pirate Marsden 2. 23. What do we got on the Marsden? What's this guy got on him? 
two twenties and two fives. Dollar and fifty. That's not a bad. Not a bad Mac Tagger. Two dollar and fives and a rotary two. Yeah, let's take this guy. Gonna need to be careful of ammo, I think. I've been sensor locked. Maybe I should have bought the uh well. That was a miss. Right here. Mm -hmm. Can you get Oh, you can get a line of sight on somebody. Is this that artillery mech? Sure is. Uh, yeah. Soften him up a little bit. We're going to run out of LRM-15 ammo real quick. But at least we know all the streak rounds are going to hit. Okay. At the longbow? Was he just... He was just, uh... Yes, he just decided he's gonna sit there. Let's see if you can deal a death blow to this guy. Quick Pair of ear larges. Right. Gonna have to apply some more from the dashi, I think. If we don't see anybody else, direct fire. Dashi can definitely finish it up. I'm really looking forward to watching the damage from this thing in this battle. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good luck with that. Alright, uh... What do we got over here? King Crab. King Crab! Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Good thing we got enough sea bills to <laughs> go through the financial report. Oh, sh another artillery mech. Or artillery something or other. Gotta shred that guy too. Yep. Thanks for showing up. Those guys are out of range, eh? Yes, Let's see what our chance to hit this guy is. 25. Uh, I got this weird feeling we're going to be getting down to the, like, end with ammo here. He's going down. Soften him up a little bit. Oh yeah, here we go. Full throttle. Long Tom, how much armor does this thing got? That's a lot of ballistic. I think there's a lot of machine guns on this. So let's... Oh, we can't multi. We gotta choose one or the other. Who do we think is worse? This guy or the Long Tom? 56 on this guy, eh? 37. Let's go after the ooh, King Crab. 69. Now, I think we take this guy out. Ooh, not enough, eh? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yikes! Not enough. I think we need to get a multi-targeter in this mech. Infiltrator, I may have to go to something else. I mean, we could give it to Dallas. Or Hellion. Hellion probably deserves it more than anybody, but I think she's loving that rack. I don't think we want to take her off the rack. All right, what do we, who do we have left here? Anybody? No, that's it. We're all moved. Okay, what do you got? A vehicle over here? 60 tons. Chopper, okay. Cascatel. What's this guy? I don't know what this guy is. He, I think he was 60 tons. It could be a bolar or something like that. 
Okay, we gotta do the we gotta do the helicopter wrap. Cascatel is not very swell. <laughs> Waiting for it is like hell. And I don't feel well. Bing, ring my bell. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll have to do that. It's going to be the uh, the aircraft delay rhymes. They're all going to be pathetically bad, I'll just warn you. I am not a freestyle rapper. Oh, that longbow disappeared. Oh, my AMS probably jammed because it's an overload. Should switch that off, I think. I think I'll leave the second one on overload, like the uh, AMS Mark II, and leave the regular AMS on, uh, I don't know. They don't really have a lot of artillery right now, other than the longbow. Yeah, I think we should push to the to the right. We got to kill the two. Uh, okay, those are thunder. Yeah. Yeah, right here. We need direct fire. You are so much better with direct fire. Let's get up here. We got to take out some of these guys. So let's go with. You can definitely kill TBM 30, eh? Thirty-three percent, eh? Hmm. Three hundred four armor on that guy. Heavy and light PPC with capacitors. Sixty tons, six hundred forty armor. King crab, blah blah. We could multi-target and hope we kill this guy. Twenty-eight left on this side. We might get lucky. I don't know. Let's just make sure we get the kill. Let's go after this guy. I'm going to Warlord this. And let's go after this guy. Not enough. Not enough. Alicorn, okay. Yeah. Say good night, sweet prince. Mm -hmm. This guy was fucking with us. Let's wind this sucker up. We've got lots of round. We got ten turns of firing at full full rack, so. I don't think anybody over there liked that. It blew through something. I don't know what it was. Probably a torso. Marsden took a little bit of damage. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Not much. What do we got? A Mackie. <laughs> a Mackie. Okay, this should... Oh, we, the other guy disappeared up there. Um, what's so he got left in the front here? Not much. Jeez, really? Okay, we got the demon. Beautiful. We drew first blood. We drew first blood! Okay, I gotta make sure we switch our AMSs back on here. He can't be that fast. My god, he is that fast. Standing by. Copy that. This guy's out of range? How could he be out of range from the LRMs? Really? 
Yeah, we took his. This guy's got like nothing left. See ya. No, he definitely has nothing left. One less target. You got that right. What's the plan? Wanna engage this Mackie or what do we want to engage here? That's the Thunderbolt. That's within relatively good range. I think I want to go here. I think we want to take this Cascatel. Um, I want to partially because I'm gonna run out of rhymes. Um, but the other <laughs> The other reason is is that uh, I think it's got AMSs on it. I'm gonna warlord this. Front loading the warlord on this guy. Here we go. I have no idea what we did. Those bushes look nice though. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Not the crab? Yeah. It's got four PPCs, huh? Or a pair of those doubles. Whatever. It looks like he's heating up, though. Wow, both of these guys are jammed. I guess with that many missiles, they're going to get jammed. So let's do this. Then let's do I don't have any idea what the heat is in this guy. I think he was heating up, but I don't know. I wanna I don't wanna waste it on this guy. Let's drop Uh can we get the we might be able to get the cascatel, 18%. Do I warlord this to get a little bit more? Probably. If we can pull out the cascatel. I know it's not really really great chance to hit, but he's no, not enough. Not enough. Let's fuck some people up here. What's up, bitches? Okay, we can see the thunderstruck. That won't be enough to pen the front, though. Um, let's see what we got here. Thunderbolt, not bad. Cascatel, pretty darn good. Like, look at zero heat. King Crab, even better, because it's farther away, right? Um, I can't multi-target, unfortunately, because of my pilot. Do we go after this guy? This could be a kill. Probably. Oh, God, really? Really? So we're down to, they got 18, they still 2 to 1. Still 2 to 1, 2.25 to 1. We could take these guys. They think they're tough. We should be able to pull the Cascatel down this turn. I think we might right push the Mackie. And if those vehicles come back into to visual range, I'll screw you and your friggin'... Warning. Armor low. No it ain't. And not even close to being low. Yeah, relax. I need to just vanished. All right, guys, sorry for the edit there. Um, I had to go downstairs. My wife, we ordered pizza, and uh, my wife was in the bathroom when it came, so I had to kind of go down and manage the delivery guy. Now, what? I don't know what the heck happened to us here. I know the direwolf took some damage. Looks like we've got an Orion up here now. Don't know if he hit anybody. Uh, I, I wonder if she can take this whole side out by herself. Um, can't get a line of sight on any of those guys. Can't get in the trees if we walk either, eh? Alright, well. Rack's jammed, so let's find somebody that we can maybe kill. Maybe this guy? That's actually pretty good chances to hit. We'll go with it. 
Yeah, he's got AMS. Rock 5's on jam now. Beautiful. <clears throat> I know we got a wheel this way, but until these guys crest, there's no, I mean, I don't want to be hitting them indirectly. Here we go. Oh. Is this like a lousy? It's the 5S. Mackie. Okay, there's the MS back again. Beautiful. Beautiful. One of the two, anyway. Yeah, it's the 5S. I have no idea what this guy's got. 1152 armor's not so bad. Oh, that was the Alicorn that shot. Okay. There's a carrier. Beautiful. Isn't that just wonderful? We're wasting all of our ammo on that idiot. 30, 20, 17, huh? Um, let's get you into the trees. I know we said we were going to go left. Although, that's still indirect over there. But we can't see those guys. And i got to start applying damage to these guys. Kill this guy. I keep saying that, and when it isn't, doesn't seem to happen. Roger that. There we go. Did we get him. Yeah, we got him. Finally. Finally, with two suspended, three suspended missiles in the air. They don't know where to go now. Oh, there we go. They just faded. Wait, are we going to get them back if we move forward? Oh, they're still there. Uh, that's fine. So uh, the 181 uh, Battletech now has a version of Rogue Tech for it. They're in pre-beta, so they are uh, letting people download it and play it. They've got a, its own launcher and everything now, which is kind of cool. Um, what can you do? Move order Let's get that carrier. 72 on this guy. 60... 47, 40% in the carrier. If we get lucky, we might be able to kill him. Let's go after him. No, we can, we can follow it up with some laser strikes, so I think. It's weird when you're more worried about the vehicles than you are of the mechs. Oh, no, they did. Shoot most of it down though, probably. Ten out of twenty, not bad. Yeah. Uh, let's get up here. We're bunching up again. We need you up here. Make sure both of these are turned on. Um, going at this guy. Beautiful. He got a chance to shoot, but he's gone now, so don't have to worry about him. Who's that? Somebody new? Cyclops. Nice. Alright, let's start engaging with these. Let's start engaging the mechs here. Can we get... I don't think we'll be able to get into any position to see these guys over here. Yeah, that kind of bothers me. Let's fire a maneuver though. What's our best shot here? Well, 99% chance to hit. 94 in the King Crab. Um, let's try and claim a relatively quick Thunderbolt kill. Oh, come on, really? Not the Thunderbolt it is. Okay, can't go for the head. Not gonna warlord. Ah, uh, let's warlord it. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's the thunderbolt still, right? Yep. Yeah. Here, let's do it. Engaging target. God, just hit where I ask you to, please. Copy that. Spreading out a little bit. Not much, but spreading out a little bit. I keep thinking we have eight mechs. We only got seven here. Uh, let's do a fire maneuver. 
uh, offensive push thunderbolt thunderbolt not quite a kill but I think we took that whole side off yeah it's gonna back up here <laughs> this thing is so pokey looks like a chicken too a big beefy dashy kind of chicken look at this thing all right that's what ultra 10 goofy can't jump that far ah uh, nothing eh well can you hit the thunderbolt from there what do we got here oh it's a king crab I think he moved forward uh, let's see the barrage off I want to save that for something else and we'll just fire on this guy see if we can kick me I don't think the HE can reach now just fire there he goes beautiful all right they got five down now 15 to 7. Still 2 to 1 odds, but we're okay. Let's move into here. This is giving us nice protection from these guys. Gives us a chance to move out and surprise them too, which is awesome. Yeah, baby. Infiltrator's going last, it looks like. I did put, I think it was, it's the AMS mech, I think, that's got the, uh, I uh, can't tell here. Um, sensors tracker. No, it's not you. I thought I put the battle computer on a mech. I can't remember. I think I was going to put it on this one, but then I decided against it. I think. Oh, I think I was going to put it on the arrow mech. Uh, why are you pausing? Okay. Just thinking. Thinking out loud. I love not having to worry about bringing this guy forward because of the uh, because of the chameleon system. All right, what do we got up here? Sold the cyclop. Oh, we got something else up here. Anubis. Eh. That's a one turner. So we got the king crab and the alicorn down here, and then these three guys. We know we still have the artillery vehicles up here, the self-propelled and this guy, plus there was one more here, so there's three of them up here somewhere. Oh, who else do we have here? Fafnir, okay. It's a Fafnir, wax in your inner ear, doo-doo in your outer ear, two cows and a zebra jump through your atmosphere. He's running. Sorry, I'm just quoting some Dr. Octagon stuff. Dr. Octagon says you're next on the waiting list. Patient's been here since this morning I dismiss. Let's go. All right. Good to go. Good to go. How are you? Who do we got? Left? Thunderstruck's back. That's indirect though, eh? I guess I can't get a direct line of sight on this guy. 25%. I think we gotta do it. I don't know. Uh, 22. It's a nice firing line on that hill, I gotta say. That guy's gotta die. He's got them thunderbolts. No. Don't be dumb. No. I could slap my own hand, I would. Let's pull back like this. Okay. Come on. Our rack should be on jam now. We could move forward and shred this Mackie. He's got his side to us now. And then this is what, Austell back there? Ow. Ow. Stop shooting me! I can't take much more. That's the crab. I don't know if he's heating up or not. Usually it zooms in when you when it's heating up, right? So maybe we get Mastodon to use the Inferno ammo on him. Mm-hmm. Reporting minimal damage. 
you got that right. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. I wonder how much dam or how much armor this Alicorn has. 864 and 176 on the side. We could get him if we get him everything into his side. This guy's being a jerk though. Guys being a jerk, let him take it to the face. So we got some more missiles for this guy. For the Thunderstruck. This guy's got a lot of armor though for a thing. For a thing. Guy. Receiving you. Why did you get direct sight? The other guy didn't. Back up. Back it up. Back it up. We got Goofy left. I think we can apply some more damage to that thing. I don't know if we'll get it, the Thunderstruck. Wow, only one landed. Nice. It's okay. damage is left. Yeah, AMS mech. Definitely go for it. Ready for orders. Okay, Mastodon. Uh, let's switch up here. Let's shut this guy's PPCs up if we can for a bit. Okay, I don't think he's overheating, but we'll just back up to here. Keep everybody in AMS range. Those night gears remind me of football players. We could drill through the side of this guy. Or we could just resist the temptation of going after the Mackie. This turn. Question is though, will I, is this guy, oh he looks like he might be in range of the rack. Moving. Mm -hmm. I hope he's in range. Find out here in a second. Sure as hell is. Here you go. Mom is just going to tear you up. Yeah, penetration. And he's going down. Good. Four PPCs. Hopefully we can take out the battlefield. We got the dashy left. Should be able to pen that guy. You have orders? Yeah, we got a friggin' uh, Thunderstruck up here that's out of range. It's invisible if we, well not invisible, but much harder to hit if we move forward. Do we do it though? That's the question. Or we could just maneuver and go after the Alicorn. Let's do that. I don't think the barrage is in range, though the Alicorn's at a good distance. But we'll use it if we can. Now. Is that a range for HE, right? Yeah. Let's just shoot the Alicorn. Don't want to push too far forward. Oh man, we can see this guy too. It's only with the ER largest though. How much has he got left in the front? Yeah, I'd have to hit all four in the front. Let's take this guy out. Well, there goes the torso. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Kudos to you for sticking in there, buddy. Lying in a field of fire. Yeah, he ain't got much left. A couple PPCs and a ballistic, whatever the hell that is. So this is one of those battles where I think a medium range build just wouldn't work. You'd have to close, and like I said, in this battle we're surrounded, so we're better off staying back here and firing. 
which case all our close range weapons would be pretty much useless. I mean, we could push them off to one side or the other. Most likely in this case, if we had the other dashi with close range weapons, he'd be coming up here and shredding these guys. But then at that point, he's pretty much useless, right? As soon as he moves forward, everybody shoots at him. It's just a given, right? All right, let's see if we can dust up this guy. Stay in those trees. Aye, aye. Yeah, I think having that main AMS off of overload is probably a good idea. Their artillery's disappeared though. I don't know where they went to. God, 17 from 19 hit by AMS. I'm going to call this AMS mech a, a resounding success. I don't think at higher levels you can't not have a dedicated AMS mech. I mean, I guess you could spread your AMS around, Commander. but I mean, I don't think you need to. to dedicated AMS mech is like gold here. Oh, there's the Thunderstruck. I don't know if he switched his back to us or not, but we're going to hammer him again. I want to kill this guy. That's a lot of force. Not enough, eh? Damn it. Uh, sorry. My bad. Wait, what's this guy? Cyclops, Orion, right? And the Fafnir and Anubis. That's the Alicorni. 77 is not that minimal, but I will say it's minimal. Keep everybody in the red here. Head down. What a range with Artemis? Really? Are you serious? KJ, is that the Kaiju? Right here. Mm -hmm. Ned. Damn rack being out of jammed again. See if we can oh it's back to us now. Sure, let's go this route. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, he's he's like launched into space here. <laughs> ah, it's so beautiful. Let's just move over here. You get your rack back and then you can target those guys on the hill with it. Yeah, baby. AMS FTW. All right, we got six guys down. 14 to go. Four hits, beautiful. No, I should move back here. She's taking a bit of damage. Let's not get too far too far out of the thing here. I know, I'm just making shit up. <laughs> I don't know. We still got Goofy. We still got uh, Infiltrator. I think it's going to be an Alic Alicorn and Kaiju. I think Goofy goes first. Oh, Mac, is that that Mackie moving forward or was that the uh, vehicle? I think that was the vehicle. Another Orion. Okay. Yes, Commander. Um. That's probably HE range. He's outside of the AMS. We'll bring him back in a second, but I really want to get this guy dead. Ah, he's outside of HE range. Damn it. Well. You missed the tag. Damn it. Now oh, you tried, buddy. You tried. You 
you tried. Uh, let's get you. Wait, we can't see the. Uh, how can we not see the? Oh. Might as well just punch me in the dick. Can't see this guy. Who do we want? Well, let's just see what the chances to hit are. That's the Alicorn. He's a definite kill. Orion. Cyclops. He hasn't been doing much, though. The Anubis, I think, is just firing missiles. The Fafnir's been firing missiles. Let's take the definite kill. Beautiful. I almost thought there for a second he wasn't going to die. All right, now that's that side done. The king crab's pretty much done over there. So we're gonna rotate. Oh, he's got a rat. He's got a rotary, not a rotary, a uh, ultra, probably ultra five. He's not gonna overheat now, so I don't. Yes, commander. guys are just setting up a firing line up here. Cyclops? Shoot him in the face. Start stripping him. want those artillery vehicles to come back, but they haven't. I want to be able to kill them. As long as they're not shooting, that's fine, but they're going to make me chase them. I don't want to friggin' run up this hill and try and chase them down. Oh, you got a few. That was the Anubis. That was the Anubis. Well, we might be able to use the Hydra ammo up there. Because it's an AO, it's an AOE ammo. We might be able to hit the three mechs up there, the three big guys. They're kind of already standing near fire, not in it. I don't think the Fafnir is in the fire. Now he's just one hex in front. So we got seven down, thirteen to go. Less than two to one odds now. Not sure how we're going to clear, clear up this king crab if we can't see him. So this guy is the Ostrock. Okay, it's a 60 tonner. Pirate Marsden's not so bad because, I mean, he, as long as he's not direct fire, we're okay. Okay, that guy, Fafnir, just vanished. Oh, he's back again. Somebody's got an LBX. I think that's the other Orion. Sorry if it annoys, <laughs> annoys people for me calling them Orions, but... Eh, you know, it's just like calling the Cicada a Cicada. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, let's switch back over. Give the, uh, the Hydra another shake here. We gotta move forward, eh? It's how are we out of range? You know what it is? It's the pilots. No, it's the ammo too. Interesting. Roger. So the Hydra ammo doesn't have the range. Okay. Let's give this some uh, Cyclops a little bit of love here. Stick it right in his face. I don't think he's really that big of a threat, but there's the... Oh, he disappeared. Oh, he died. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Commander. But he's dead. He's dead. Oh, we got the rotary up. Uh, I think... I know you're the... I know you're the Orion killer, but... Let's start dealing with these guys over here. So we can go face to face with the guys up top. 
Uh, there we go. Ooh, it's a little close for the brush. Still a little close, but... More damage, better chance to hit. Let's give it to him. So, so Marsden took a little bit. Mackey took a little bit. Ooh, we almost penned the torso. Well, he broke through the armor anyway. Yeah, this is the old crappy one. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Want to kill yourself a Mackie? We could go after the Cyclops, but I think uh, imminent death of the Mackie is probably a good idea. That'll clear up this side. On See ya. Tango down. How's that for nostalgia for you, buddy? He's piloting it because it's a nostalgic mech, and it's like, dude, it's not the way to do it. Not the way to do it. Okay, shoot me, guys. Don't shoot my team. Oof, really, eh? Large improvement in this, Orion. Let's go with everything on this guy. Oh, yeah, two big ones hit. All of, all of them hit. Be nice. Stripping armor like a boss. We penetrated, too. Somebody's got a rack. Or a bunch of uh, uh, ACs. Not doing anything either. Okay, let's target this other Orion. Yep, that's the guy we want. Firing. Ooh! That's a kill. Okay, you can get your ass back over here. One thing. Gotta get back into AMS range. Let's get over here in the trees. How are we looking here? Got a Fafnir strike. Uh, we'll just take it. Wow, three hits, eh? That's all you're going to do? Three out of 30? It's like 10%, dude. And the winner of this battle is AMS. What do you think, uh, Helian, if your rack's up? Do you think you want to take out that Ostrock? He's fast, though. I'll give him that. Speed wise, not speed wise, but uh, movement, like uh, turn wise. Jesus. It's crazy. It's really sad that we got the lower uh, the lower height advantage here, or disadvantage, I guess. Oh, he's just in range. Beautiful. Nice. So is there something else back there that I'm not seeing? Oh, there's another mech back here. Wait, that's the Cyclops. Wait, was that a... I missed that. Was that two Cyclopses? <laughs> Cyclops, Cyclops. Yeah, it is. The Fafnir and the Orion and the Anubis. And we know they got vehicles up there. Want these guys out of my uh, out of my game here for now. Let's blast this guy. Thing I've got. 
Not quite enough. A lot of damage to the armor, though. Where do we get the front and the side? Uh, we spread it around nicely, I see. Commander. Okay, everybody's in the circle. Um, let's get into here. On my way. Who do we want here? Mm, he's got three large lasers, eh? It's not a bad loadout. Now, which guy? We haven't hit. We hit the Fafnir a little bit. That's the Orion. We haven't hit. Where's the... Is this the Cyclops we hit? It looks like it is. Rotary 5. A couple of light PPCs. Let's hit this guy. Firing. Soften him up a little bit more. bring you kind of back over here a little bit. It's not going to give us range on people though. See what I mean? This, this mech is a relatively close range mech and we're in experiencing relative difficulties on this map. Now that's not to say the close range is a bad thing. Having a close range mech is, is a good thing. So, see we're almost out of... we got two turns of fire and we have to be in close for the rest. Man, we hold off. Yeah, we got we got to start moving forward. Yes, we don't have to, I guess, but let's get rid of the Marsden if we can. See ya. Reporting, enemy vehicle eliminated. You got that right. Ah, we're overheating. He won't be next turn, so don't worry about it. Um, yeah, time to start getting up in these guys here. Fafnir. Orion. Cyclops is taking damage. Let's go after him. Engaging Two hits, three hits. Not bad. Okay. Same thing, Dallas. Let's start stripping armor off this guy. PPCs are out of range. Let's move forward. We gotta start pushing them anyway. Oh, there's the artillery tank. Beautiful. Yeah. Flying through the air. Nice. Now there's that's just that truck left up there somewhere. The long tom truck. I'm listening. Ooh, rack is up. Uh, I'm gonna leave this off for now. We don't think we're gonna need it, but we'll see. Firing. Fire. Not a kill. That there was a critical hit that was. Sure as hell was. Yep. Rack is still up. Beautiful. Won't be next turn though, I don't think. Greatly reduced damage, we almost took his arm completely off. I think he's got is it like large, large and large in the center torso or something? Maybe I'm wrong. So they're down to eight. So we've got the long tom truck that's missing up here. So this is the Ostrock for two Cyclopses, Fafnir, the Orion, the Anubis. There was the one truck that's six, seven, there's something else up there somewhere. Orders. Orders. Probably not the best place to stand, but we're going to come over here and give this guy the what for. See ya. Alright, that lance is gone. 
That's seven on seven. That's this guy. I wonder if this guy's got a rack too. Yep, he does. Same loadout. Okay, there's the Orion. Yeah. So we're going to push Goofy against the new uh, the Anubis, I think. Next target is the Cyclops to pull down, then probably the other Cyclops or the um, Orion. And if that Long Tom truck shows up somewhere along here, then that, that's the uh, target of choice. or target of opportunity, so to speak. I thought there was another artillery truck that was up here that took off. Did we kill that guy? I don't think we did. I think one of them got away and then the carrier came up. We killed the carrier. I er, don't remember now. That's fine. They're all gonna die. So that wasn't a bad fight, 20 versus, I mean, I'm talking like it's over, but 20 versus 7, that's a pretty good fight, I think. Certainly may have ended up differently if it were on a city map. If these guys all closed, it would be significantly different, I think. But they'd have to close en masse, like if they closed a small group at a time, they'd just get shredded. The disadvantage for us is them being up high. It's pretty much, you know, reduced our, our chance to hit by half for some of our guys at long range. So, you know, rather than 60%, we got like 40%. Yeah, there's that asshole. Where is the thing? Oh, it's a chopper. Where is the uh, guy who fired? I don't think it was this guy. South stealth bomber? No. Okay, just move up and stabilize. Let's see who we can hit with the full rack here. We could shred the Anubis. Really bad chance to hit Fafnir. No. Orion, I think, is the guy that we're going to go after. Cyclops can be hit by everybody else, but let's go after the Orion. Start on that guy. Commander. Orion or Cyclops? He's going to die, I think, really badly. I think it's going to be this guy. Yeah. Wow, that's really hot, eh? We're not overheating, though, so... We've already moved, so we're okay. Soften him a little bit. Is he going down? He is. Beautiful. Have a seat, buddy. It might put him out of the ability for us to see him, but that's okay. Alright, now. Okay. So we got Goofy Dallas. Dallas is going to go after... Cyclops. Get all of her stability back. Beautiful. Warlord. Let's hope for some CT hits here. Okay, a couple hits. Nice. That's 
That's the Cyclops, right? That's the Orion. There's the Cyclops. What was the Orion's chance to hit? Come on. That's pretty damn good. Let's see if we can get rid of them. Nope. Good damage, though. Doesn't matter where we go, there's flames on the way. Let's get over here. This is your guy. Just fire. You'll be into HE in a turn anyway, so. Alright. How are we looking for initiative this turn? Pretty good, man. Goopy's going first for our for us anyway. We should be able to take out the Orion in that one Cyclops' turn. Then we can probably turn our attention to the Fafnir. The other Cyclops hasn't really crested the hill yet, so he can't get his Rack 5 into play. But this guy is. He's being a real jerk. Is he backing up? Yep. Looked like he backed up. Oh, second one moved forward. Okay. Second one finally moved forward, eh? Don't go in the flames. Thirty-four, eh? He's got one point in the CT. Uh, 18. Let's go after the Cyclops. Oh, we got an AMS coming from over there, eh? Still lots of damage, though. Scored a critical hit. We got lots of missile ammo left, too. It was nice seeing all these mechs at full strength, too. There was no understrength units. Ah, uh, freaking Fafnir. Makes me wish we had a, uh... I understand. Makes me wish we had a, um... What's it called? Uh, God, brain is like fried. I can't even remember what the hell I was going to say now. Oh, headshot. That's what it is. Sorry. Oh, you killed the Orion. Nice one. <laughs> well, he only had one in the CT anyway, so. The Anubis, I think, took off. Took one shot at him and he ran. Alright, Stealth Bomber's moving, probably. Let's see if he decides to get close. We may have to switch up our targets here. Oh, he disappeared. Commander. Hence the quote-unquote stealth part of that. This guy's being an ass, but I can't hit him. Cyclops damage down this end. Let's fire at this guy. Last, last LRM 15 rounds. Okay, a little bit. A little bit. Guess I'm gonna have to try harder. Well, you need to rack back. Let's move into here. Stay in the trees, because they're probably going to shoot at you. They really don't like that Orion, though. I'm receiving you. Lilu Dallas, man, they hate you. Oof, really? Well, take this guy. Ooh, all oh, misses. That's so unusual for you. That's a miss. Yeah, it is. Well. Some pretty good cover. Waiting for orders. You need to sprint over here and get under the AMS, please. 
Make sure you're in the trees. That Fafnir's Understood. not liking us very much. All right, let's see if we can finish this guy up. Report well, use a 90 ton mech. Let's get people in the AMS range, please. Look at this guy, he's like stripped. Still going. Solid connection on that one. It was. It's going down though. Beautiful. Might be able to finish him up now. Good chances. Let's go through the torso. Firing. I think we got both torsos. He bailed. Yeah, I think we act. I think we actually penned both torsos. If I had to take a guess, I think that's exactly what happened. I know I'm moving close to other mechs here, and the LBX is going to have a field day. But we're all in the trees, so I'd rather not be in the open when the LBX is open up. All right, they've got three le or five left. Sorry. The Anubis, Cyclops, the Fafnir, this guy, and Long Tom Asshole, wherever the hell he is back here. Goofy's going to have to hunt his ass down, I think. He's probably, like, down, like, right in there. Good to go. This guy's the jerk. Okay, the stealth bomber is trying to shoot down all of our missiles. Let's keep slowly and moving up. He's still dropping. Beautiful. I think we're in rack range now. Oh, we are in rack range. He disappeared, though. That's not very nice. I think he's heating up. Good time for some inferno ammo, perhaps. He turns sideways. Maybe that's why it uh, zoomed in on him. Warlord's back. Let's use it. Good to go. AMS is down. Let's switch out. Wow, we're running low on ammo. But this guy wasn't meant for long fights anyway. Uh, okay, Hydra's in range. Only 7%, huh? Well, at least he'll be standing in fire. Okay, a little bit of damage. Beautiful, he's standing in fire. Oh god, the chance to hit. A little better on this guy. Ah, what do we do? What do we do? Where'd the barrage hit? Oh, uh, kind of between them. Reporting. You're gonna approach this Fafnir and make sure you're in trees, buddy. Those are really good chances to hit. Taking them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone just needs to breathe on that guy. Ah, uh, we need to get you a place where you can actually see him properly. 
There we go. That'll probably be a little better. Oh yeah. No hits? Really? You did, but you just needed to hit him once to knock him over. There's that long tom, that bastard. There's the knockdown. Beautiful. Alright, let's see what we do next turn here. Got some pretty good initiative. Hopefully we can rain enough crap down on this long tom. 95 tons, eh? Like, yeah, he's almost done, right? Like, we'd, if we hit him with a good LRM tw LRM 70 strike, he should be done, I think. I think if these were clan, if this was a clan match, we'd be in a serious trouble. We're short one mech, too. I think that's probably part of the reason. So I think we're set for four and a half against the clans. For sure, four with seven mechs. There's that Stealth Bomber too, and the Anubis that's, that's not up here right now. I think moving the bulk of us in was a bad idea. I think we should have stayed back on that little hill. We'd have better chances to hit, I think, back there. All we've done is moved in so that these guys have uh, weapons that can hit us and do good damage. I think that's all we've done. Well, we finally pulled out that long tom. Oh yeah, I forgot. We've got to do the Stealth Bomber wrap now, right? Stealth Bomber is... I have... What rhymes with Bomber? Farmer? No. Uh, what rhymes with Bomber? Bomber... Uh... Marijuana. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you can think of what rhymes with bomber, drop it in the comment section. Bomber. Uh, you just, and it can't, oh, that thing's got to die. And it can't just be like an ER at the end. It's got to be something like Ma, you know? Stealth motherfucker. Okay, that's who is this guy? This is the Fafnir. Self-propelled. God, 5.8, eh? Taking the shot. Okay, nice. Those AMSs up a little bit. Let's go after the leg. Not the best weapon to be doing that with, but leg destroyed, nice. NSS destroyed. Rack 10. Crit. Oh, we might get rack 10 ammo off that guy. Let's get some vigilance on this guy. I don't have to worry about the flames. reason why I say that is our uh, LRM-15 is gone too. We're saving a ton of heat. Alright, let's try for the leg. Uh, let's go with everything because we're... That's like another four turns of firing. There goes the Rack-10. Ammo destroyed. Damn you! How far can up here can you get? You can't really... Down, 
Eleven percent, huh? Ooh, really? Let's not, let's not go too crazy on it. Is that enough? No, it wasn't enough. <gasps> no. Oh shit. You got a GTFO. Okay, you should be able to do this, hopefully. Roger that. Miss zero percent, miss zero percent, huh? No love on that strike. Let's find this damn stealth bomber. Oh, wait, 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 there you are. Dirty bastard. We gotta kill this guy. He's the guy with the big guns. He's got to go down. Crap, he got up. Did he just fall over again? He did. Failed his piloting rule, I guess. It's all going to be flames. Okay. Uh, 12 points. So let's go with... Um, that. Oh my god, I bet you we did 8 points of damage to the leg. I bet you any money we did 8 points of damage to the leg. Can't tell. Oh, the newest sneaky little bastard got him on that aside. What the hell? You're gonna get a face full of HEM in a second anyway. Commander. Warlord's not back yet, but we'll fire the rest. Wow, that was terrible. We're having problems finishing this up here. Now we get... Oh, we only got one shot in the leg. Try the leg again. Copy that. Oh, for Christ's sake. Really? That's like 8 40, 40 some odd percent chances in a row you've missed. Oh, the game's lagging now because you're just mad at me for saying that? Is that what it is? I think the stealth bomber didn't move. I think that's what it was. Somebody didn't move. Good to go. Coordinates received. What do you think? You can finish this guy up? Save those for the other mechs and see if we can take this guy's leg off. There you go. Target neutralized. Commander. Location confirmed. Let's bring those missiles back online, please. Alright. Uh this this guy's got his back to us. Let's not shoot him though. Ah, uh, should we go after this guy? Probably. Nothing? Maybe we just couldn't see it. Oh, that's such a good chance on that guy. Even better on this guy. Oh, everything hit. Nice. We got him. We got him. He doesn't get to use his artillery strike again next... I think it's next turn he was going to be coming back in. Awaiting orders. Okay. Getting a good range here. Get everything else back online. 33% in the back, eh? 
Only if we got lucky. Let's strip some armor off this guy. Um, we've only got a little bit of Hydra left. Put this thing back on. Uh, we're going to fire the Hydra off first. 16%. Let's heat him up a little bit. Perhaps deter these guys from using their weapons this turn. Long range are out. Our next turn, I guess it would be. It's probably the Anubis going first. Let's find out what he does here. Most likely he'll run. He's been running the past little bit so he'll leave the the uh, cyclops high and dry and then hopefully we can move forward and cr oh he's what's he doing i i'm eating my words uh, unless let's consider running he's not shooting at anybody good shooting man reporting heavy damage yep Seventy-six with those. Oof, really? Nice, penetrated. BTFU. Keep your side turned. Give this guy a little point blank love. We can get the barrage on him too, which is nice. Hopefully it doesn't affect us, but we'll find out in a second. We're gonna warlord this. Cause screw him. Roger. Yeah, we he got we got ourselves. It's okay, so is he. And he's on the ground too. Where the fuck did Anubis go? I copy. He's got a jammer running, does he? Twelve points left in the CT, eh? Firing on target. Okay, looks like we penetrated somewhere. Okay. Wow. Nothing. Nothing. He's got the ECCM running though. Not your fault. Wow, one percent. Uh, let's see if this is any better. Probably not. Oh my god, what's the, uh, <laughs> never mind. Now it's 1%. <laughs> oh god, sorry. Let's not wreck too much of this guy's stuff. Yeah, we both, uh, really? I should have expected that, though. My main pilot's not that good. Okay, just keep the AMS in range. Uh, should be enough. Yep. 20 rounds left. One Anubis. You got a solid blue? I guess not, eh? Got two turns of firing left. Wow. Come on, Goofy, get up there and shred this guy. Don't know what this guy's running, but it's a hell of an ECM. Yep. 
You out of ammo? Don't shoot freaking Goofy in the back, please. Oh, one hit, not bad. All out of AC5 ammo. Yeah, I know. I copy. Still got your streaks, though. Orders. God, 0.9%, eh? Got it. Still gonna be 0.9, I bet. Yeah. Twenty seven. Target locked. Attack failed. Waiting for orders. It's the height advantage that this guy's got on us, probably. Twenty one percent. We'll take it with some warlord. Let's soften him up a little bit if we can. Locking in all weapon systems. Orders. You got 20 rounds left. Just move forward slightly. Confirmed. Just use it. Should have warlorded it, but I didn't. LRM are out. This is all going to be goofy. Awaiting order. That's better. All right, firing. There's the knockdown. Infiltrator should be able to pull off the kill, I think. I hope. As long as we can see him. Oh yeah. It's not even move. Oof, really. The arrow. That was so awesome. Mission successful. So I'm expecting about 700 to a million in, in damages. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, because the Orion got torsoed. That was like right close to the end too. The archer took some good damage in the torso. Yeah, let's see what it's like. I don't think we lost any components, so I didn't see anything. Any measures. And that's that's a better kill distribution there. All right, so we're going to take some salvage so that we can sell it. Three longbow pieces, man. I think that's going to be our sale. Although Cyclops is like 90 tons. How many? There's only two Cyclops pieces, though. Two Fafnir, two King Crabs, two Thunderbolts. I think we go with the longbow. And then what else is down here? Ooh, pirate Goss rifles. Minus one accuracy, though. Don't think I want to do that. Any other Goss weapons down here? Long time artillery. Me. Uh, we should be checking for thunder ammo, though. Unless there's something else amazing here, it's all going to be thunder ammo. I think we need to take. Hopefully, we can find a double sniper artillery TBM thirty pirate. Damage 50 times 3. Tonnage 17. Recoil of 3. 42 heat. That's pretty kind of it's kind of a cool weapon. But for what we have, it's not we're not going to be taking that. We don't have any ammo for it anyway. Uh what's this? Um lots of cores. Oh man. That's only worth a million, though. XL engines, double plus exchanger. Ah! It's a valuable piece of equipment. We could use that for the uh, second dire wolf. Prototype double heatsink kit. Oh, crap, man. Oh. Come 
Goss ammo. Long Tom ammo. Now I think we need that's thunder. We need thumper. Sniper. Nope. I guess we trashed it. Alright, well there's our heatsink kit that we need. We'll take the prototype double heatsink kit. We don't have any heat sinks for it right now, but we'll take that. What would have had the prototype double heat sink kit? The crab, king crab probably. It had four PPCs on it. PPC capacitor, plus 20% increased damage with, when active. That would be nice on the uh, or our Orion. Hmm. Once again, we're down to heat sinking problems though. Um, okay, well, indirect would be nice too. Do we take the mech? I mean, we're not going to get, we're going to get, it's really junk to sell, right? But we're doing okay for sea bills. I think we're going to leave the mech off. So here's what I'm thinking. We do this. We go with this for the artillery mech. We grab the exchanger for the Fafnir. Or not the, the Fafnir, the, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, man. You know, that one thing, that one guy. Um... Hmm, and maybe a prototype double heatsink. It really sucks when you only got four choices. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I think that's what we got to do. We can get our artillery mech far closer to being built with this. And these guys definitely for the uh, we can get our Goss one built. It won't be perfect, but it'll be a start of it. It'll have max armor, so it'll be well protected. I think that's where we're gonna go. Let's do that. Let's confirm. Anubis, Fafnir, and King Crab part. Okay, not bad. Chaff counter measures times two. They got three salvos. Chem laser. Another rotary two. What's this? Six times three times five? Fires a barrage of five shots. Each doing, I guess, three damage each. I guess. Times six of them. Um, we only got one part. We got a core that we can sell. Sensor missile range, that's not bad. Warfare suite, LRM ammo, Ultra 5 ammo. Yeah. Well, could have been better. All right. Not bad. Well, oh, okay, that's less than what I thought. Plus minus the 220 we made. So it's about 400,000 in damages, which isn't too bad at all. Not bad for a mission like that. I th it could have been a way worse. The fact that we were down one mech too. Okay, so I think what I'll do, once this gets through, is between episodes, um, we're getting a lot of work to do on the mechs here. Uh, what can we get back relatively quickly? We can get those two guys back, and these two would come back. Dire Wolf is eight days. Let's get that up to the top. So 877. Uh, then these guys would go in. So this is 10, 10, and 11 days. And then the Orion. So the Orion will be out. That's fine. So in 11 days, we'll be back. How much? I think we got 18 days? So the financial report, 18 days. Yeah. Argo repairs will be back. So um, we go to engineering real quick. So we need to do the last drop tonnage. And what do we need for this? Engine repairs, which we're working on right now. Right? That's the drive upgrade. What's the where's the engine repairs?
That's drive upgrades. Huh? What am I missing? Upgrade engine repairs. Oh, you know what that is? Um, that's the one just before this one. It's this one. Engine repairs. Yeah, so we have to have this one done. So, okay, perfect. Once this is done, our drop weight will go up by 50 tons and we'll be able to drop all our mechs. Beautiful. We won't be able to drop two dire wolves at once, but we'll be able to do one, and then we can work on getting the last 50 tons, which will put us up to 700 tons, which I don't think we'll be able to drop full 100-ton lance, but two lances of 100 tons, but that's fine. I didn't think we were going to be getting that far anyway in this series. I'm kind of shocked. Well, you know what? Three pieces of mechs. That's why we're here. It took me um, over 100 episodes before to kind of, kind of get to this position um, because we were doing eight pieces of mechs per. But, you know, we didn't, ha we didn't have the ability to drop two lances at once either. So, all right. So I am going to end this episode here. Um, I am going to get the mechs repaired and work on getting the other dire wolf up and running. Uh, it probably won't enter the next battle. I don't think it'll be ready. We need to get some guys back and jump into the next battle. We'll have the 50 tons, um, extra 50 ton of drop weights. We'll be able to run an eight mech mission. We'll take something a little bit more difficult. I think. Well, that was pretty good. It was it was 20. It was 20 versus seven, so it was a pretty good. It was almost three to one. Um, but we'll take something difficult as well, just to see how we do. Um, and see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Think about loadouts and stuff that you might want me to try. Um, I don't, I'm, no, I don't, I'm not 100% sold on doing mechs that are close in. Like if we had the other dire wolf here with those, um, the uh, rotary AP gosses or whatever they were um, at, at uh, range of 390 meters, they, we wouldn't have been able to use them. Right? We would have had to close and they would have shredded us before we got close. But anyway, um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.